product you buy, whether it's groceries, shoes or gasoline, has a number of components that make up the final sticker or pump price. First, there is the price that the retailer pays for the product, often referred to as the wholesale price. The price retailers pay for gasoline is a combination price of the raw product and how much it costs to get to the gas station. Crude oil is the main ingredient in the gasoline recipe and it's traded on the same commodity exchanges as coffee, beans and sugar. It's a basic commodity used around the world and when demand for any commodity is greater than supply, the price goes up. Crude oil is then run through a refinery to make gasoline and other fuels. Gasoline, having widespread common use around the world, is also a traded commodity. Depending on how much of both products is available and how much demand there is, the price to buy gasoline at the wholesale level will either go up or down. This is somewhat complex but relatively transparent as commodity information is available on the internet or in the business reports on radio and television. If you hear the price of either product is going up, it will likely be reflected at the pump in short order. Most of the difference between wholesale and retail is the amount of tax per liter. We've tried to better explain that through the use of pie chart decals on our pump. After taxes, crude oil and refining costs is a margin for the gas station owner to operate the business and make a profit. While I'm often asked by my relatives why gasoline prices are so much higher than those in the U.S., the reality is that the wholesale prices found on both sides of the border are roughly the same. Canadians just pay more for tax on fuel than they do in the U.S. I know that doesn't help you much here, but if you are interested in getting the most out of your gasoline dollar, check out the video on this page. Thank you for watching.